Hi everyone, my name is Kweku, and in this video, I'll talk about five natural products that have been scientifically shown to help lower cholesterol. These natural products also come with many other benefits, like lowering blood pressure, reducing inflammation, and improving heart health. So if you're looking for an alternative way to manage your cholesterol levels without medication, please stick around because these plant-based remedies may be just what you need. This review is for informational purposes only and is not an endorsement for you to discontinue your prescribed medications. Please consult your doctor about any changes to your medications. There would also be links in the description to the various studies that are quoted or cited in this video. Number one on the list is flaxseed. Studies of flaxseed preparations to lower cholesterol levels suggest possible beneficial effects for some types of flaxseed supplements, including whole flaxseed and flaxseed lignans. The effects were stronger for women, especially postmenopausal women, than men and people with higher initial cholesterol levels. A 2015 randomized controlled trial of 110 participants with clinically significant cardiovascular disease found that milled flaxseed lowers total and low-density lipoprotein cholesterol in people with peripheral artery disease. The results were even better when the flaxseed was used in conjunction with other cholesterol-lowering medications. Some of the study participants achieved a 15% reduction in circulating LDL cholesterol as early as one month into the trial. With respect to safety, flaxseed and flaxseed oil supplements seem to be well tolerated in limited amounts. Few side effects have been reported. Flaxseed and flaxseed oil should be avoided during pregnancy as they may have mild hormonal effects. Flaxseed, like any fiber supplement, should be taken with plenty of water as it could worsen constipation or in rare cases, cause an intestinal blockade. Both flaxseed and flaxseed oil can also cause diarrhea. Number two is garlic. A 2016 meta-analysis and review of 39 randomized controlled trials involving 2,300 participants treated for a minimum of two weeks found garlic effective in reducing total and low-density lipoprotein cholesterol by 10% if taken for more than two months by individuals with slightly elevated concentrations. When it comes to safety, garlic is generally considered safe for most people in the amounts usually eating in foods. Side effects include bad breath and body odor, heartburn, and upset stomach. These side effects can be more noticeable with raw garlic. Also, bear in mind that garlic may increase the risk of bleeding in some people. Number three, green tea. There is some limited evidence that suggests that green tea may have a modest cholesterol lowering effect. A 2018 meta-analysis of 21 randomized controlled trials involving 1,704 overweight or obese participants found that green tea significantly decreased plasma total cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein cholesterol levels. The study found that green tea had no effect on HDL or high-density lipoproteins or triglycerides. Another 2011 meta-analysis of 14 randomized controlled trials involving 1,136 participants found significant reductions in total serum cholesterol and low-density lipoprotein concentrations, but observed no effect on HDL cholesterol levels. When it comes to safety, green tea, when consumed as a beverage, is believed to be safe when used in moderate amounts. Liver problems have been reported in a small number of people who took concentrated green tea extracts. Although the evidence that green tea products cause liver problems is not conclusive, it is advisable to consult with your doctor if you have a history of liver problems. Number four, oats and oat bran. Long-term dietary intake of oats or oat bran can have a beneficial effect on blood cholesterol. Studies suggest that there is a beneficial effect of oat consumption on reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease by lowering total and LDL cholesterol. A 2014 systemic review provided evidence that increased oat consumption has a beneficial effect on the serum cholesterol concentration, particularly in individuals with hypercholesterolemia. This finding is consistent with a 1992 meta-analysis that concluded that soluble fiber from oat products can lower total cholesterol with a greater reduction in individuals with higher initial cholesterol concentrations. When it comes to safety, oats are probably safe for most people in amounts usually eating. The only caution is that it can cause intestinal gas and bloating. Number five, stanols and sterols. Stanols and sterols are substances that are found in certain plant foods. Whole grains like rice bran, wheat jam, oat bran, whole wheat, and brown rice. 
or some legumes like dried peas, beans, lentils, peanuts, almonds, walnuts, and fruits and vegetables like oranges, apples, avocado, broccoli, and cauliflower. Stannols and sterols are also available as dietary supplements. A 2013 systematic review and meta-analysis of eight different studies found that the study participants who took plant sterols or stannols in tablets and capsules had clinically significant reductions in low-density lipoprotein or LDL cholesterol. Further analysis showed no significant difference between the LDL cholesterol-lowering action of plant sterols or stannol supplements and foods enriched with plant sterols or stannols. In other words, it didn't matter whether you took it in the form of supplements or you got it directly from food. When it comes to safety, plant sterols and stannols are generally safe for most healthy people. Side effects generally include diarrhea or fat in the stool. So here you go, five natural supplements that you can consider if you're thinking about lowering your cholesterol. And like I said, all the links to the studies that I've quoted will be in the description. You can review it for yourself if you're interested. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so, and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.